This is the Sailrite Fabricator. It is an industrial grade canvas sewing machine. Look at that thing, it comes in four boxes. It's pretty crazy. I think we're gonna have some fun playing this one together. So sewing machines have always been one of my favorite tools. I accidentally signed up for a home ec instead of shop back in middle school. It actually worked out pretty good because I just got to flirt with a bunch of girls and cook food and stuff. But uh, I also learned how to sew. Uh, that's been a skill I've used a whole lot ever since then. So back when I first started sailing, I heard about the Sailrite Ultra Feed, which is the little brother to this guy. Of course, back then I was on even more of a budget than I am now. And I decided to kind of cheap out and get the, the knockoff. Unfortunately, that machine didn't really work out all, all, all that well. I was able to get through my projects, but it would jam up all the time. Getting the tension was really hard. It was just really hard to control. Uh, it was kind of overall a frustrating experience. Whoa, there it is. The real deal. So, even though the design was like almost the same, most of the parts were interchangeable, it was just never really... Uh, um, enjoyable experience working with that machine. But a few years later, I found a used uh, Sailrite Ultra Feed on eBay. And that machine works so much better. It was crazy the difference. Like, even though it was essentially the same design, like all the parts were machined better, the, they were using like better metals, the thing never broke needles, the, the tension was easy to adjust. It was a crazy difference. And then last year I got the chance to use my friend Paul's, uh, it was a brand new Sailrite machine, and it was like a step up in quality again. Like they had changed a few things and it was like, they, it was even better than the old Sailrite machine I had. So I pretty much knew I wanted to get a Sailrite machine uh, for this boat because I was gonna keep it for a long time this time and have a lot of canvas work to do. So I reached out to Sailrite, kind of told them the story and they uh, gave me a pretty good discount on the Sailrite Fabricator. I went with the, the Fabricator, that's the bigger one, instead of the Ultra Feed like I'd used in the past. I think the Ultra Feed is really good if you want a portable machine. It's really nice to be able to take down to the dock or if you want to keep it on a boat. But I kind of had a pretty good idea of what I want to do canvas wise. And for like not a whole lot more, I could get this bigger machine. It's only straight stitch, but I really just tend to use the straight stitch as opposed to the zigzag because the straight stitch is faster. And when you're doing big projects, it's kind of hard to keep the zigzag consistent and looking nice. So my preference is to just do like three rows of straight stitch versus uh, a zigzag stitch. I also uh, like that it had a servo motor and it came in, comes in a nice table. It's pretty cool, it even has an oil pan. So let's get everything out and see what we're looking at. Here is all the parts out of the bags. Honestly, it's kind of overwhelming. I think we'll start with the legs. Tables put together. Now we gotta put the motor on. We do the uh, cogwheel, I guess. machine all put together. I'm really excited to start sewing with it. I'm going to be using it to make a new sail pack, a new bimini, a bunch of real heavy duty canvas bags for things like Anchor Road and uh, just kind of miscellaneous covers and stuff. But unfortunately I don't have all the materials to make any of those larger projects yet. 
But what I do have is I have some sailcloth, and uh, I have this old wallet, which uh, I've been using for quite a while. I really like the design. I made it out of uh, an old Hobie Cat sail years ago, and it's just a really nice and simple, real slim. It's got two pockets on the outside, billfold pocket, and then two smaller ones on the inside. So I'm going to make a new one of those. The design of the wallet is real simple. You've got your front and back, so two of these pieces, and you just make it whatever size you want the wallet to be, and then add the seam allowance on all the sides. And then you have two pockets, a front and an inside pocket, and then an outside pocket. And I like the inside pocket to be a little smaller, so I can reach the cards a little better. And then I keep the outside pocket a little bigger, just for cards I don't use as much, just to kind of keep them nice and protected and staying inside. And they're going to hem all, all four of the pieces. For this outside pocket, I had a kind of a cool zigzag sketch on one of the, the pieces of sailcloth, so I kind of left that as a little decoration. So those stitches look pretty good. Let's see, we have, could use a little bit more tension on top. So let's turn that knob. And uh, that, but that's fine, that's definitely keepable. So keep on going. So after you get them all hemmed, you kind of fold them in half so you can find the middle. And you just, uh, you just stitch them together. I really like this uh, presser foot knee adjustment. It takes me a second to remember about it, but it really could speed things up and have to reach behind every time. So once you get the pockets sewn on each side, then I'm gonna sew it inside out and flip it around. So we'll take it so pockets facing inside, and then we'll just kind of sew around, around each end, a quarter inch from the edge, and then we'll turn it right side out. Finish that up. I really like how high the knee lifts up, man. You just have so much clearance. This is gonna be awesome when I'm pushing like a heavy canvas through there. So now we'll just uh, let's cut these a little, a little shorter. Let's cauterize those stray threads, and then flip it right side out. And I'm just gonna sew it along the edges. There it is. I think it came out very nice and it's pretty much the exact same as my old wallet. <laughs> I could have done this a little neater, but you know, I need to get back in the groove of sewing. I haven't sewed in a while. Let's see if it holds all my, my stuff. I think we're in business. I can't wait to do some bigger projects on this thing and really put it through its paces. And if you're interested, you should definitely check out, check out the Sailor Right website. They've got really cool videos that show you how to make um, like all sorts of things for your boat. On the, the, the Ranger I had, I used their videos to make my, my sail path and the Dodger and uh, redo all the cushions. And um, some of those projects, they seem really big and intimidating, but they really break it down to step-by-step -step instructions. And it makes it you know, pretty manageable. The machines are kind of expensive. But if you look at what it would cost to have a canvas shop do it, like they can kind of pay for themselves after just one or two big projects. So the next video, I think I'll be doing an update on the workshop. It's really coming along. I'll see you guys then.